This has to be one of the most complex and spiritual dramas that I have seen in recent times. Hi guys, this is Farhad and welcome back to my channel Popcorn Reviews. If you're new to this channel, then please smash that subscribe button now. And as a video ritual, remember to like and comment on the video. Liking and commenting helps fuel the YouTube algorithm. With that, let's get back to our review. And today, the Malayalam film that we are going to be discussing is the 1987 Malayalam film, which is called Amritam Gamaya, a phrase that you will hear a lot in the Hindu chants that are there. This chant specifically is recited when generally uh, people have passed away. And uh, that is the time that uh, this uh, chant is, you know, narrated here. And part of that chant is also literally translates into uh, going into, uh, you know, moksha or attaining moksha on your path to salvation that is there. So story here is essentially of a man whose past catches up with him when he encounters the parents of his junior who had died while a ragging session was in place. Now, this is the central conflict and the pain that the individual is holding on to. The protagonist played by Mohan Lal is, you know, holding on to for a very, very long time. But amidst that, you see the kind of situations that he himself faces in. You know, he has to deal with his uncle who and his, uh, you know, cousins that are there who all are a part of the feudal system that is there. His uncle, by the way, at sponsored his education and they are resorting to unfair medical practices uh, which the protagonist being a doctor does not necessarily agree to uh, and there is an incident that takes place that you know you know triggers a smear campaign on him so this kind of a screenplay that is there what i would like to look at is from a dual perspective one that had already occurred related to his past and one that was occurring here so i'm equating this as a reviewer with karma the karma of the individual that was there you know very late in the screenplay you get to know of the exact turn of events that had happened leading to the ragging gone wrong wherein a character dies uh, you know, uh, by the hands of the protagonist, unknowingly so. But the pain that he gathers is not enough just, you know, for, uh, you know, to shed a tear or something and get over it. You know, the guilt that he has, where we call prayashit in Hindi, the guilt that he has, that is repaid in the form of karma when there is, you know, problems that are occurring around him as well. This until there is a redemption at the end that he attains. This is a sort of a drama that you will actually, you know, on repeated viewing, you will actually get to know better. It also would signify the different stages that are in your life, you know, that different stages of life that you find yourself in. Like if I am in one particular stage right now, if I watch the film, say after five years, I would actually relate to another part of the film that is there. And that is the beauty of writer, uh, veteran writer, I should say, legendary writer M.T. Vasudevan Nair, who's once again scored such a layered and such a complex screenplay that, you know, it almost is a symbol of life itself. You know, the uh, brash beginning that we have followed by the guilt, which is phase two, followed by redemption that is there, which we see in the film. And these are the stages that are nicely, you know, captured in the screenplay, uh, which actually holds on to your attention and fills it with a lot of emotions that are there. Yes, when you are witness to all the wrongdoings of the people around the protagonist, you do feel for the protagonist. But you also at the back of your mind are, you know, also equating it with karma that, you know, whatever he did earlier in his life, he's repaying for that. And turning over a new leaf, you know, and how did he turn over a new leaf? One, by accepting his mistake. I think most of us, what we do, we just brush our guilt under the table, but we do not accept what is wrong and move forward. And I think accepting was that one turning point in the film that comes late in the film when, you know, you see the character of Mohan Lal, you know, down at the feet of uh, the parent of his junior that is there, you know, almost being sorry for what had happened and also having gone through so much uh, in his life as well including uh, his marriage being called off and uh, you know his feud with his um, you know the 
relatives that are there um and the also another burden for him to carry was when at the end you see a little before the end you see that the character of the mother starts blaming him that he is responsible for the death of her son i think that was a very painful and beautifully captured moment in the screenplay that was there followed by i think the little redemption that was there at the end uh, you know when he was looking at the board of um, the character shri devi played, played by parvati you know she'd become mbbs which also was connected to the start of the film where the film had begun i think it was a wonderful wonderful watch it was so um, cleansing i would say it was so spiritual and um, it also had a definite intellect attached to the drama you need to equate things and understand and read between the lines to understand the layers and the complexities of the drama coming to the direction i think direction uh, by hari haran was wonderful here he's a wonderful director and he's done a wonderful job with this film with you know almost handling the subject with a lot of sensitivity that is there uh, performances by mohan lal and parvati are excellent here i felt geeta also had a terrific screen presence she did she did a wonderful job i also spotted vinit here who was in bhul bhulaiya um uh the hindi adaptation of the malayalam film mani chitratad and i think it was a very young looking vinit that was there and i think he did a wonderful job it a little cameo that was there at the end by unni krishnan uh, his character name was all other characters including tilakan i think tilakan added another dimension to his character which was not very affable this time it was almost like filled with pride and uh, almost uh, looking forward to inheriting the feudal system that was there uh, which he may have got from his ancestors and passing it on to his son and not necessarily the protagonist who is just is you know one of the relatives that is there not directly related to him so wonderful job by tilakan also and all other actors i think they did a wonderful job raja lakshmi also did a wonderful job by the way uh, he, she plays mohan lal sister in the film amazing job so amritam gamaya on the whole is a wonderful wonderful watch it is intellectual it is spiritual it is layered it is complex and it makes for a wonderful watch it's absolutely wonderful this is one film that i may revisit after in the coming years you know just to you know understand the different mindset that i with respect to me in different stages of my life that is there i would probably be able to open another door in a few years you know while watching the film uh, it will be probably in a different zone that i may be in positively so necessarily not necessarily negative positively so and i think uh, this is one film that i think all of you will watch it and you will have story to tell so this is a wonderful film to discuss in the comment section also given it was 1987 it's absolutely ahead of its time then but it's also relevant today it is evergreen and absolutely watching it in 2024 has made me very very happy thank you so much for the recommendation again i highly am you know honored to you know to watch this film and let me know your thoughts on what did you make of it whether you watched it in a theater what was your watching experience and if there are any recommendations let me know in the comments also i will get to your films have a little patience the list is long also remember to like the video what's more you can do share this video with your friends and family ask them to subscribe to the channel let's grow this digi family together also visit my site popcorn reviews with a double s for all the latest reviews i have put out three reviews today including three new releases one is of the hindi film ulaj one is of the hindi film auro mein kahan dam tha and one is of the english in, uh, documentary on netflix on ss raja mauli sir so i have put three reviews out you can read them in your language remember you can translate them in your language as well also follow me on different social media platforms facebook instagram twitter and letterbox as you see these films i have written reviews but i have not made videos on them so all that information will be on my social media handles as well so remember to follow those as well all links are in the description box below i'll see you again soon with another video till then take care of yourselves and thank you so much for your love and support cheers